Folks, we can't afford four more years of Donald Trump. I believe this country has to come together. When I announced, not far from here, my candidacy, I said I was doing it for three reasons. One, to restore the soul, decency in the White House. <laughs> yeah, the current occupant of the Oval Office ran on restoring decency to the White House. A building that has since employed a non-binary appointed nuclear official who spent its, his, her, I don't know, free time stealing people's luggage from baggage claims. Hosted numerous pride events, which isn't bad enough of itself, but recently welcomed a group of trans activists, one of which decided to flash her breasts all over the sacred White House lawn. Not to mention the egregious flag code violations they had there. And the latest, of course, the most secure building in the world can't figure out who left cocaine in it. I know we talked about it yesterday, folks, but this is crazy. And the plot gets thicker and thicker. Let's not forget, though, our noble president has vowed to crack down on drug dealers and users, comments dating back to his time as a senator. If you have a piece of crack cocaine no bigger than this quarter, if you're caught with that, you go to jail for five years. You get no probation. You get nothing other than five years in jail. Judge doesn't have a choice. When it comes to family affairs, it appears that none of his words ever mean anything. Pay your fair share. Pay your fair share. Pay your fair share. Oh, right. But Hunter skated on that one with a sweet plea deal fit only for someone holding 10% for the big guy. But sure, Joe, keep touting the work you've done to restore decency to the White House. I, I don't know if he actually believes the garbage coming out of his mouth or is he just like too far behind the power curve to know any better. The only people still pushing for you, Joe Biden, are those probably complicit in covering up some of these tracks. Look, a, quote, law enforcement official today said, what, you know, whatever that means, is now saying that the White House cocaine culprit is unlikely to be found. Are you kidding me? It's not, this is not like the streets of Chicago. This is the most secure building in the nation. The same building with security cameras at, like, every entrance, nearly every room, every hallway. The literal home of the most protected individual in the world. Do you really expect me to believe that some culprit can't be found? They should have had this identity in like five minutes. We also found out earlier today that it's actually in a more secure location than they originally told us. But don't take it from me. How about someone who called that building home for four, soon to be probably eight years, someone who knows every corner, Donald Trump, former president claiming on True Social, quote, does anyone actually really believe cocaine was found in the West Wing of the White House, very close to the Oval Office, is for the use of anyone other than Hunter and Joe Biden? But watch, fake news media will soon start saying that the amount was very small and it really wasn't cocaine, but rather common ground-up aspirin, and the story will vanish. Probably right. It's the bad part. But let's not forget, every time the Democrats didn't like something when Trump was president, they demanded tapes and recordings and basically everything leading up to a DNA sample. Where are the tapes? Nobody's, nobody seems to know. Those who should know something about anything don't seem like they want to talk about it, though. So, as you know, this is under the preview of the Secret Service. Uh, they are currently investigating uh, what happened over the weekend, so I would have to refer you uh, to the Secret, First, the Secret Service on all of this. As you all know, the president follows all the reporting here, uh, and he certainly was briefed by his staff on everything that we know so far. But the Secret Service is investigating this. This is something that's under the purview of the Secret Service. They're the ones who handle this investigation, so it lives uh, in, in, uh, in their purview, in their world. When it comes to uh, security protocol, that's something that the Secret Service certainly is going to handle, and so that is a question for them. So I don't have anything more to share uh, on, uh, on the particulars. Again, when it comes to security, when it comes to anything of those types of protocols, that is something that Secret Service handles. That was 47 seconds of KJP telling you basically that, that she's not going to answer your question. Unless it's hers. I don't know. Could be. I haven't ruled that one out, I guess. We've come to expect this. So this is like snow, stonewalling 101 from this administration. But what about the president? An illegal substance was found in your home after a career of cracking down on drugs. You don't know anything about it? 
Well, reporters, they certainly asked, and according to this uninterested reaction, he has no clue. That's unreal. Like, this is unbelievable. As a homeowner, the last thing I would do if I found cocaine in my home would be to be like, meh, no big deal. Smile, shrug it off. This is such a joke. This is the stuff that makes me not want to pay my taxes anymore. What? The IRS is just going to let me plea out, right? That's, that's the standard. No? There's no consequences for anything anymore, right, Hunter? Do whatever you want. Maybe that's what they want. I mean, hell, Kamala Harris did bail out BLM rioters. Don't think I forgot about that one. Look, I, I can't say for sure who brought the cocaine into the White House, but I also wasn't born yesterday. The list of people who could have actually brought it in, you could probably count on like one, maybe two hands. Who's the one guy that took a bunch of videos while doing drugs, mostly while driving, sometimes at over 170 miles per hour? Wasn't exactly Dr. Jill. I'd like to remind you, too, if this did, in fact, belong to Hunter Biden, not only would he be violating the law, he would be breaking his plea deal, which, according to CBS, explicitly states Hunter Biden's plea deal will include an acknowledgement that the drug use was a contributing factor to his gun crime. And it is expected to mean that for two years, Hunter Biden must remain drug free and can't commit additional crimes. So just two years, that's all. Don't do drugs for two years. High bar, I guess. This is the son of the president of the United States. We're talking about the White House. Joe Biden can say he's proud of Hunter. He knows that he's the smartest man he knows, that he did nothing wrong until he's blue in the face. I really don't care. But the fact is that Hunter is still walking around at White House functions, chilling at Camp David or whatever he does on the weekends with his dad after his little plea deal stunt. It's a slap in the face to Americans. I'm so annoyed by it. I'm so sick of these people acting like this is no big deal. I want one standard of justice. No drug addicts I know are picking up bags of cash for private equity companies from China on Air Force Two. It's time to get serious. I really hope House Republicans are listening because this deadline for the U.S. attorney to turn over all of his materials from the plea deal, that's approaching soon. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You get what you vote for, folks. Staying home, too, is a vote. Joe Biden promised to restore decency to the White House. Don't buy it again in 2024.